Hey, what's going on, folks? In this video, we'll be showing you how to test water salinity using Cisco handheld salinity meter. Different from an unstable plastic hydrometer or blurry and hard to read refractometer, a portable salinity pen is definitely easy to use and way more convenient. So, why not join us to learn one of the tricks of the trade about this little gear? Let's get started. As you can see, the daily operation of this meter is simplified to just three buttons. The bigger one is for turning the unit on, while the other two are used to turn it off and to enter the calibration mode respectively. To operate the meter, you just hit the on button once to turn it on, and the meter beeps once softly. And right here, you can see it's flashing already wide, which means it's ready. When there's no water in there for 30 seconds, the device will sleep. And you can hit the power button once again to arouse it. Keep in mind to calibrate it first before testing to ensure an accurate reading. So next, we're going to check the salinity of the water we're just preparing here. The saline is made at 5%. Note that only this section of the salinity probe can be submerged into the sample liquid, as the tester is not entirely waterproof. As you submerge the calibrated pen into a sample of saline, the MAS icon starts blinking quickly, which means the test begins. This digital salinometer automates the reading process. Now that it gives us a stable reading, and the built-in LCD backlight turns on as soon as the device settles down. The salinity is measured in specific gravity and the sodium content measured by milligram per 100 grams. It's got a water temperature reading on it as well. That's also very nice to know because temperature differences would kind of cause deviations in measured salinity. You can track these readings with one tap on the menu button. After the test, take off the probe and wipe it with paper towel in order to get precise measurements in the following tests. When you are done, press the off button to turn it off and it will beep once and off. Then just rinse and wipe the probe clean to get rid of any soaked residue from the device and thoroughly dry the device before storing it. There are some precautions that deserve your attention during your measurement. During the test, the sensor probe should be dipped in the sample to the required level to make sure the entire sensing part has been put into the test liquid. Thus, the saline water also needs to be deep enough to flow the salinometer. If there's some residue floating in the liquid, make sure the probe does not touch them when measuring the solution. And besides, the probe should be kept away from the side wall of the container by 1 to 2 centimeters. If the liquid is indeed not sufficient to submerge the probe, it's okay that you lean the container like this to raise the liquid surface to cover the probe. It would also be workable if the probe touches the bottom. Our salt meter also has a cup come with it. Simply attach the included silicone cup to the pan, just like that. Turn the meter on and pour some salt water into the cup. Give it a few seconds until you hear a beep from the pen and the back lights on. So it reads 9.96%, certainly within the accuracy range. Hit the button once to check the sodium content. Hit the button once again and you get your water's temperature. You can also use this cup to scoop up your water and measure it. This is a clever accessory for use with conductivity-based salinity probes as it protects the pen from electrical interference that may happen in aquariums equipped with pumps and heaters, and also avoids polluting the water sample when you are pouring some sample into the cup for non-contact measurement. When the batteries get low, the low icon starts flashing, and the pen produces sound alert to remind the user of the insufficient battery life. Use the included key to open the lid at the end of the pen. and remove the used batteries. Always remember to track the polarity when placing new batteries. Insert the new batteries into the compartment. There we go. And then we're going to put back the cover and close it using the key, according to the graphic instruction there on the bottom. So now we're going to turn it on and there we go. The device is running again. And that's the end of this video. We hope you learned something useful about using Cisco Salinity and Temperature Digital Pocket Tester, whether to make brine mix for curing food or to properly mix and measure your aquarium salt water. For more information on this product, 
please visit our product page through the link down below in the video description. Having a handy, accurate, and easy-to-use salinity pen will give you an intuitive understanding of the different salinity levels of common things that surround you. Why not buy one and test it out for yourself? The purchase link has been posted in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.